of my favorite days of the year. It is National Cheese Day, and Beth said it right. Who doesn't love some cheese? So here to give us a great recipe that is loaded up on the good stuff is Ash Brown. Thanks for joining us, Ash. Thank you so much for having me okay, today. Okay, so obviously you can cook, but you uh, have a blog, and tell me what else you're involved oh with. Oh, yeah, I have a podcast show called Ash Said It Daily, and we've had over a thousand episodes and half wow. a million streams worldwide. How often so. is your new podcast released? Is it a weekly or a daily show? It's a daily show. Okay. So every day a new episode uploads. So you guys, it's available on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Google Play, Stitcher. Just some good feels, you know, some good inspirational feels that we need. So the name is Ash Said It. Where did you get that name from? It just came to me one day. <laughs> uh, we were, I was sitting up literally like going through all these different names and things that I wanted to do. And I was like, you know what? Why don't it just be something just simple, straight to the point? Ash Said It. I said it, so it's law. <laughs> All right, that's it. It is law. Ash is saying, and she says today is National Cheese Day, today and is. we're going to be doing, I guess, a little live blogging technically. Yeah, yes. I do have an awesome one. So thanks to my friends over at Kachina Antica, mm -hmm. they sent me their tomato basil macaroni and cheese. Yum. And so what I have here is what we did is we did a slow simmer with mm -hmm. some milk. And my favorite cheese is my Fiesta blend of some Colby Jack and cheddar cheese. And so we melted it down really, really low. Now, when you're melting cheese, you want to make sure that it stays very, very low because right. you don't want to burn the cheese. I was going to say, you have to keep it very low. Yeah. You have to kind of babysit it, keep, it, keep it stirred. And you have to keep stirring it because otherwise you'll have all kinds of issues. So <laughs> when do you know, um, when is there ever too much cheese? Is that possible? I don't know if there's a such a thing. I don't think as, so either. I don't think that there, there's ever a, a such a thing as too much cheese. <laughs> okay, so we Put about uh, half and half or some milk in there yeah. with your cheeses, mm -hmm. and you're going to melt it down nice you're and smooth melt it and down. creamy. Yeah, and it's not going to take too long, maybe five minutes or so, till you get the consistency that you want. Mm -hmm. See, me, I like my cheese very creamy, just like this. Oh, absolutely. So, so we're we're at a good consistency now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the Cucina Antica, mm -hmm. and we are going to pour maybe about half a cup. You don't want to overpower it with the tomato sauce because you want it to still be mac and cheese. Right, it's still <laughs> mac and cheese. You still want it to be mac and cheese. So that's about half a cup. Perfect. And um, Now tell me a little bit more about the Kachina Antica line. Yes, Kachina Antica, they are amazing. Um, if you're looking for a brand that takes care and makes sure that there's mm -hmm. no GMOs in your food and you're making sure that there's no added sugars, no preservatives, no kind of add-ins, not, not even water. Like that's as pure as to right. a tomato as you can get. And well, I mean, I'm looking at the ingredients list, and it's a very tiny list, yes. um, which is incredible. <laughs> and they're all Italian tomatoes. They, all, they are. They're, they're actually imported in. And, and there's no it? added sugar, like you no. said, no added water, no tomato paste. No. So it's like you're making a sauce at home, but without basically. the work. The, basically. <laughs> you know, and you know who's the biggest uh, manufacturer of cheese in the world? No. We are. Well, hey, yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we put our half a cup in there. We're going to get it yeah. all stirred in. Yeah, and we, we make sure that it's incorporated really good. As you can see, we're still at a good texture here. So mm -hmm. I think we're about ready for our noodles. Okay, and what kind of noodles did we have today? I got the little spirals. I did the spiral mm -hmm. noodles just because they're fun. It's summertime. Kids are out for school. This is something fun that the kids will love to do with you. And I mean, it's still mac and cheese. So, right. I mean, who doesn't love a good noodle? <laughs> and that's a very heavy sauce. So, a good spiral noodle mm. or maybe a penne would be a great noodle to hold also up to that heaviness. Also, very good. Yes, yes. And it definitely, you know, like I said, it, it kind of you just kind of fold it in, and it incorporates really, really well. And I made this this weekend for my godchildren. They loved it. <laughs> well, <laughs> they were hey, it how can you not love it? <laughs> and my mouth is watering right now. It's just so thick and so creamy. Yes. It is so good. Now, it's absolutely. I can already smell what little mm -hmm. bit of that sauce that we added. You can smell mm -hmm. the tomatoes. Yeah. You can smell the basil. Yeah. It just really vamped it up a little bit. It, it did. It just definitely gives it an extra little kick, a little push to it. So this is an easy recipe that pretty much anyone can do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't take a whole bunch. Good for kids. Good, good for, for adults. Kids, good. Oh, yeah. Midnight snack. Oh, I want some mac and cheese. Of course. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking is you whip it up, you throw it in your casserole dish, and you take it to your potluck. That sounds, that, that's a plan, too. So <laughs> that's definitely a plan. Well, I Ash, tell me a little bit more about what we can see on your blog. Yeah, well, you'll see a little bit of everything. So I do different events throughout the year. Um, I'm always doing all kind of product reviews and just any like really good, feel good stuff because you know we, we look at what's happening in the world and we need some positivity. Right. So I try to implement some more positive energy. 
uh, to the world and just to everyone that's going around. And, you know, I'm local to Atlanta, GA, so you guys are just up the street from me. That's right. You're not too <laughs> far away, absolutely. Just up the street. So how often are you updating your blog? Is it a new post the every day? or Yeah, every day. So we have, we have new all the time. There's something new on the site that wasn't there yesterday. Perfect. Well, we love that. <laughs> always need a little feel-good happiness, too. Yeah, we do. Always feeling that. And then you guys can see the end result here. And uh, so this is what uh, tentatively what it can and look like. And you just topped it with a little little extra cheese? Yeah, and I mean, it's it's National Cheese Day. That's right. <laughs> so we need some cheese. You never have too There's much cheese. There's never too much cheese. Okay. And Antica, um, Katina Antica, they can be found at the Fresh Market, mm -hmm. the Whole Foods, and also Target. Well, that was where I was going to ask, is where can I find some of the sauce? Because it smells sauce. great, looks it's great. It's amazing. Okay, so they're at the local markets as well. Yes. So I can't never say Cucina Antica. Cucina Antica. Cucina Antica. Okay. I'm going to have to practice <laughs> saying that. And Ash, tell me where your blog is again and where we can find your podcast. Yes, you guys can go and check out ashsaidit.com and you can follow me on social media, One Love Ash. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks Thank for making so us much. some mac and cheese to Absolutely. celebrate National Cheese Day. I'm going to eat some of this mac and cheese, but y'all stick around. Beth is joining you with the Chattanooga Theater Center coming up next. I'm going to eat some mac and cheese and Ash and I are going to talk a little bit more. <laughs> And this recipe is also going to go on WDEF.com right after the show. So stick around. We'll be right back on Let's Chat.